friend's house. She's a crying chicken and they live in a neighborhood, so they're not allowed to have any crowing anythings. So we brought her back here so eventually we could get her to stop crying. a chicken to a new flock is that you want to bring it to where your chickens are. And then if it's in the daytime you just keep it by itself until it's night and then in the middle of the night not in the middle of the night just when it gets dark you wait till the witching hour <laughs> Chickens are not seeing well and they're sleepy and they're yeah. more calm. And then they will wake up together in the morning. And that helps them to accept a new member and without too much fuss. You can observe whether the new chicken is going to be. In our case, this new chicken, uh, we wanted to know whether it was going to fight with Rooster Cogburn um, over food because it was just so used to being dominant. And if you don't know where your chicken came from, if you're not sure about the environment it came from, um, you want to make sure that you can find your new bird um, for at least seven days, just to make sure that it doesn't have any um, diseases or mites or anything that might um, transfer to your flock. Once you know that she's she or he is... Um, clean, then you can do the introduction steps where you bring it in at night. Quarantine. Um, hmm? Quarantine. Yeah, you, you need to quarantine your new bird.